Hey, what's up guys? Um, 160 there for one single. Um, not feeling it today, just feel lack of motivation. Kind of feel tired. Um, don't feel strong, don't feel explosive. Just feel like it's, uh, I should have a rest day. So, given the fact that I'm doing squat every day, I gotta squat every day. So I've just done a, you know, bare bones, 160 squat workout. This, this thing took me like five minutes, really. Um, just completely bare bones. Um, but I just thought I'd uh, talk to you guys about this, about uh, training during this uh, pandemic. I'm sure you guys know all about it. Um, so a lot of you guys can't go to the gym. A lot of you guys don't have equipment at home to train. Um, so a lot of you guys are going to be transitioning to calisthenics type of workouts, you know, body weight workouts. Um, and a lot of you guys are probably thinking you're just going to do heaps of volume to make up for the lack of, you know, weight on the bar. And just be mindful that any sort of new training program, any sort of change in, in what you usually do is a stress itself. Um, so don't just go, you know, you know, balls to the wall straight off the top and start doing like a thousand push-ups a day. Um, that's a completely different uh, sport, you know. So just be very, very careful. The, re the reason why I want to say that is because uh, any sort of stress is stress to the body. And stress to the body can have negative impacts to your immune system. Um, I'm sure you guys appreciate how important the immune system is right now in this current climate. So just be very careful how you guys train. Be very, very careful about your volume. Don't go crazy. This is not the time for you to, you know, do some crazy shit and, and, and you know, kill yourself. Um, you know, as I don't know where you guys live in the world, but um, I'm in Australia and we're kind of like self-isolating. We're not in a complete lockdown, but uh, we're kind of staying at home, keeping away from everyone. Um, but my job is on the front lines. I'm a nurse in an emergency department, so I'm potentially going to be exposed to a lot of sick people in the coming weeks, months. Um, so I'm just keeping a keeping my mind on, on where my fatigue levels are, um, leading you know towards uh, uh, what's what's to come. I guess um, Australia is not you know as bad as some places in the world. Obviously, it's quite early for us, um, but I'm just uh, vigilant in how much training I do here because it's all kind of. Uh, a stress to the body so um, I just want to basically give you guys a word of advice and when it comes to training in these next couple of months because um, you know you don't want to be pushing too hard and uh, you know making it more difficult for your body to recover hence you know making it more difficult for your body to fight off infection and, and pathogens so just be very careful um, you know distance yourself obviously from as many people as you can um, and just be very careful in um, how much volume you do in the gym. Um, get your rest, get your nutrition, and look after yourself. The gym is secondary to, to health, obviously. So, you know, make sure your health is number one. All right, guys, catch you in the next one.